what's up Sagittarius thanks for watching appreciate it this is gonna be a reading for your immediate future the situation any obstacles in your way and the outcome of that situation so keep in mind that the energies can go both ways this could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with someone around you so flip it how you need to also remember it's a general reading so just take what's yours and leave the rest behind <laughs> you might be leaving something behind all right Ooh, sagittarius well there's an opportunity coming for you could be with a taurus all right immediate future for sagittarius please there's that same two of wands you're moving look and i said you might be leaving something behind so you got the two of wands the eight of wool and the devil capricorn energy so uh we'll see there may be some type of temptation all right so i'm gonna get three cards for the person or situation like attached to you this is my own deck i call it trilogy um because i made it to try to help in three different ways but we're just going to use it for the message this time all right so you got the two of wands the eight of cups the devil so the devil like i said is capricorn energy but you're moving towards something but there may be like this one um thing that's like so like picture two paths in front of you right and this one um path it feels like there's this thing that's lit up and I'll show you in just a second. Give me one more card. And it's presenting itself in like this beautiful ass package. Um, but I'm not sure if it's beauty. You know how, uh, I mean, um, look, the two of wands, right? See how this one path here, there's two paths, is lit up. And there's like something there, it's like spotlights on me. But then you have, or like something wanting your attention. But you have the eight of cups and then the devil so you got this isn't how it was supposed to go can we go back to how things used to be and i need you to step up so somebody wants to know how you feel about them something that didn't go right now somebody's trying to rectify and they want to try to backtrack and take it back but for some this could be a person or situation that you've been through a couple of times that keeps like leading to the same spot which is possibly just back to the starting point Show me this two of wands for Sagittarius, please. For the immediate future, the Knight of Cups and the Fool. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. You got a love offer coming towards you, which leads to a decision. With the Fool, somebody is happy, cheerful, just coming towards you with a big old cup of love. The world, double Capricorn energy here. But it looks like you love this person. Oh shit, right back. Like the love is there on both sides. There's definitely a bond here. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Show me this Eight of Cups for Sagittarius, please. Because this is somebody, remember, um, well, this is somebody turning their back. So there may be, um, whoa, for some, I just heard three kids. But um, there may be, you know, something here. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, decisions, decisions. It's like the situation of the day. Choices, decisions. You may have had options there. Um, you may... I mean, you're walking, you're turning your back towards something. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So it goes back to this Knight of Cups that's over there. Um, even if you're not dealing with the water sign, there's one person here. It's, it feels like that especially has your heart or you have theirs and you know things may have kind of just been up in the air like a little f needing to move but not all the way moving so now it looks like you know somebody is making the decision here to walk away from something tell me about this king of cups so for some um thank you the temperance card that's your energy tell me about that temperance card Oy. And the Eight of Pentacles. They want to put in this work with you. The effort with you. Because they see it as the Empress. Taurus energy. That's why they want to take it back. Show me this devil. 
for Sagittarius for the outcome. So, who is the moon? I was about to say somebody might be a drinker here, but and not in all situations. But um, the moon is Cancer Pisces energy, and these two cards can be like uh, indicative of a, like a codependency. It doesn't have to be towards each other. I mean, that could be drugs, alcohol, alcohol, sex with the King of Pentacles. I mean, sorry, King of Wands and that Ace of Wands. Yeah, you got a lot of temptation coming here. Someone is facing a whole lot of temptation. This is a whole lot of like um, sexual energy. Uh, so somebody could even be like addicted to sex here. This King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, there's a whole lot of temptation coming towards you. Tell me about that King of Wands. The Nine of Cups. So, uh, interesting. Uh, the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. But there is... Um, the Nine of Cups and the Devil. It's almost like, uh, for some, be careful what you wish for, even though this makes you happy. Uh, but there's also... Uh, too much of a good thing because this kind of energy over here or this situation so this this can go two ways right because it can be like a codependency to like sex and things like that but yeah the star aquarius energy you wish for this or somebody did but it also could be <clears throat> drugs and alcohol like i mean it could be towards a person you know it could be a number of different things but you definitely have a lot of uh, hot and tempting energy coming your way. There could be some drinking involved, something like that. Uh, this is a wish. Somebody wished for it. But um, just be mindful for some. The devil's here and the, and the moon. So um, sometimes, especially with that kind of energy... That can go out quick. For some, it could lead to pregnancy. Not for all. But the Empress and the Eight of Wands is there. So, oh, somebody is stressing, stressing, stressing that something's over. Possibly with a Libra. Could have been a legal situation. Or they're just trying to, you know, worry that, you know, balance this. But... <laughs> for some this next part's not for all but i'm just i just noticed it so i'm gonna put it out there for some this is backtracking for a for a great deal it may be but for this specific like if this part resonates with you it may be we're ending with the Ace of Wands, right? That's where we're supposed to be starting. The thought, the idea, the spark, right? And then we move towards it. So we have somebody making that choice to move towards it. But like I said, this Ace is like a candle, right? It can go out. So sometimes it's like this candle goes out. Then we're right back to the starting place. And then we keep going with the world here in the same loop that leads us right back to the same starting place all over again. That's what makes it um, like, a, like a behavior patterns repeating and things like that. It never gets out of this. And this doesn't have to be a person, okay? This can have to do with some type of dependency or something like that. It doesn't... Because there's, there's also feelings underneath that as well. So I understand that's where it gets tricky. And it feels like, you know, somebody does want to express those feelings. But when this card says, can we go back to how things used to be? Just make sure you're not getting stuck in some type of loop here, okay? All right, Sagittarius, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.